Thanks for watching. Like and comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase we're going to be looking at the 2007 Deluxe Class Wreckage. What we're going to do with this video then, we're going to have a detailed look at him in both of his modes to help you decide how you want to display him. We're going to have a look at how his accessories can work and there's even an undocumented feature where you can combine them, I'll be showing you as well. And as I'm lucky enough to have one still in the package, we can have a look at that a bit later as well right let's get started and for a change i'm going to start with the alternate mode because although it's a very good alternate mode there's not really much going on with it in honesty um it, it's lovely actually it's an m1126 strike infantry carrier vehicle and yes i have just read that i do apologize there's no way to remember that at all and as i say it does look very good as you'd expect the wheels go around etc there is some really good detail on this but you just can't tell because of the the color scheme they've chosen it does look really really good you've got the decepticon logo there um and again i do i, do, I really like it i think it looks very good obviously this guy wasn't in the movie unfortunately um if you want to be negative about the vehicle mode it's all about what's going on underneath you can see loads of things underneath that would give it away as being a robot but obviously if you're just displaying it in this particular mode it's not too bad at all and yeah again i do i do really like it it's it's a brilliant alternate mode to be fair and it's one that i don't think i've seen in any other transformer figure that i've you know since they've been making them but there we go we're going to move now on to the alternate mode because the alternate mode is stunning and if we look at this in fact first and foremost i'm going to take the weapons off the back in fact i'll take one off because i'm going to show you quickly how one of these works this is just very simply folded up into there there's a teeny switch at the back which is see that little notch there and then what this will do i need to get out of the way of the picture can i do it yep there you go so that'll fire that down i'll show you that in a bit more detail in a second but the good thing is that these even though they come off like so which you can see when he's in his alternate mode they are all tucked away neatly under here as well so you haven't got to worry about losing them even though that's just popped off when transforming them into his alternate mode so it does hide them all quite well typically i just pull that off anybody who watches my videos sometimes i get things like this which i don't plan on happening and i've just got to roll with it there we go but you can see i suppose that's reassuring for yourselves if you do that it is that easy to fix so you see it does happen right let's have a look at the robot mode before we look at the accessories fully then so he's got a brilliant brilliant head sculpt very very movie verse obviously you can see he's got a ball and socket shoulder joints he's actually got a double jointed elbow so we can go forward and all the way back I'm not going to take it too far but you can see it there that it actually will same he's got the waist swivel the hip ball and socket knee rock and he's even got a ball and socket on his ankle so he is incredibly incredibly articulate um, although i'm not going to do the full transformation process on this video i'm going to show you his automorph thing which is this cannon which comes out as part of the transformation process i'm just going to move the back bit down and if i push this in what happens there we go so as you'll be doing the transformation process you can tell that this is all the front obviously of the vehicle as you swing this down he says now i've just attached it there we go this would come down there you go so that folds back the head will bow down and it's all about this cannon there shooting out that is the automorph technology that they are referring to on the box but in honesty it's all about the weapons. The weapons are brilliant. As I say, the standard use for them are just this with a tiny little lever there. And they still look good. As I say, you can pop them underneath. See, there's the port there on the underside of the forearms. So we can do as you just saw. I'm just going to do it very quickly before showing you the undocumented one. Because the undocumented, well, not undocumented, the one that's not in the instruction, shall we say, is again really, really cool. So I'm just going to fold that in, attach it underneath like so. And again, he carries them around, even though they've got the extra bits, he'll still balance. No problem whatsoever, even on carpet. Let's just fire these out again. There we go. 
and so this is the one that's not in the instructions but i think definitely should have been because it's brilliant i'm going to take them both off and then what you can do is you can combine them like so let's just make him balance otherwise i'm going to look silly saying it'll balance so we're going to take these two here and then we're going to slide them together like so so now you've got like a double samurai blade and if you notice on his forearms on the wheels these are all five millimeter ports as well so what you can do is you can literally pop it in there and then you've got a double spinning rotor blade as well which again displays brilliantly and it just makes him look stunning so i think he would have been a great great character in the movie and his toy is brilliant as well right let's very quickly wrap this up and have a look at the packaging so there we go this was a japanese release so this would have been released in japan and you've got the lovely face there and then if we spin it around i'm going to bring this close enough just so you can then if you want to pause and read that yourself that's a little bit of oh, an old bit of price sticker maybe let me just move it out of the way and give you another chance to there we go and there we go there's some of the other figures that were in the toy line looking like wave one or them particular figures there's the brilliant robot picture and of course it's talking about the automorph just below the chest and the blades that pop out what a great figure really is some of the movie figures, as I say, are stunning, and I do really like some of them. Obviously, I don't, and I'm quite honest to admit them, and you'll see that in future reviews and other reviews, but some of the ones I do really like. But there you go. There he is, 2007 Deluxe Class from the first movie, Wreckage. Thanks for watching. Like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe.